Colorado City, Arizona, a town stuck in another century where the dress is old fashioned and polygamy is the norm and outsiders are not welcome. Just go to hell! You back off! I've seen it firsthand on my many trips here to report on the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. Go. Okay, okay, okay. Now. A sect that still practices polygamy. Young girls often forced to marry much older men. But what will people do if they have the chance to save a young girl from being married against her will? We set up our hidden cameras at this family restaurant just a few hours drive from Colorado City. We hire actors to play the Joneses. There's Frank, his wife Sherry, his other wife Laura, another wife Kathy, and this young woman, Susan. B camera's your best shot. We're watching from a control room nearby. And look who's coming to dinner. The Joneses are here for a special occasion. Susan, you should smile. Tomorrow you're getting married. Susan, just 15 years old, is about to become this man's wife number four against her will. Stop crying. Please don't touch me. <clears throat> I don't think I'm ready to be married. And we are your family now. I don't want to be married. I'm only 15. This woman is clearly distressed, but rather than try to help, her husband asks to be moved to the opposite end of the dining room. I want to get the hell away from you. Okay. While people stare at Susan. I don't want this life. No one comes to her aid. Are they just afraid to interfere in a family matter? Don't be this way. Polygamy is illegal in all 50 states in the U.S. God spoke to the prophet. This man is clearly concerned. And it's not your duty to question. It's your duty to obey. When our polygamists leave, he follows them out to make certain that Susan is going willingly. In this country, we have rights. Well, you know. She doesn't need to know that. She knows what she knows. She's with us. Hi, sir. I'm John Quinones, sir. I'm a reporter. You're shaking, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just going to give her that one last chance to not have to go. You know, I figured if she was old enough to make the choice, if she's family, I, you know, we can't intervene. There's, uh, we have rights, but I was going to give her that <laughs> one last shot to duck out. I'm not ready to be married. You don't decide that. Back at the restaurant, people are reacting, but covertly. Tomorrow's your wedding. This man pulls out a camera phone. He says he was going to give these photos of the girl to the cops. When the others head to the restrooms, Susan is left alone. And for almost four minutes, no one does a thing. It's all too familiar for Elisa Wall, who grew up in a polygamous sect and who's watching with us. She was forced into marriage at the age of 14 and wishes someone had helped her. It's about what people will do with that window of opportunity, that opportunity to protect and do for someone else what you would want them to do for you. What should people do in your opinion? If nothing else, call, call the authorities, call someone or make sure that that girl does not walk out of there. Because once she walks out of that door, she's gone. That window's shut. I'm not ready, I need a couple of years. From the start, this woman hangs on every word. Is everything okay over there? She's crying. Too young to go when you're 15, old enough to be alive, that's it. But what is she going to do? I'm just gonna go somehow sneak this child out of the back window or the bathroom right now. Yeah. It's very upsetting. When the others go to the restrooms and Susan is left alone again, the woman throws her a lifeline. Do you need help, sweetheart? Susan, do you need help? Do you need help? Here you go. Sit down here and don't go nowhere. How old are you? 15. You're 15, you're a minor. Somebody call the cops for her. Yeah. yeah. No, please don't call, call the cops. Call the no police. Fight. Honey. Then, then they'll find me. No, that's what you need help. And there's people yeah, out here that can help you. Back. Can we go in the back for a minute to, to calm her down? She leads our terrified child bride-to-be to the back of the restaurant. Oh, 
that you're a hero, and we want to congratulate you. That's not a hero. That's not a hero. That's helping a child. What? That's not hero. Well, that's not hero. People that's didn't that's speak. Mean. Well, a lot of people didn't react. Most people didn't say anything. No, most people didn't. <laughs> Elisa Wall is touched. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for having the courage to stand up for her. Look at what you're doing. <laughs> yes. You're a louder voice than I could have been. Oh. Fifteen is not young. Show respect. This woman keeps her eye on Susan, and after watching for more than 20 minutes, she's had enough. What can I help you with? I don't know. What can I do for you? Can you okay, come with me. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Where are you taking her? I don't know, wherever she wants to go. In two days of filming, she's the first person to approach Susan in front of the family. And now she leads her to the front of the restaurant, wrapping her arms around her. She kept clinging to me, so I knew she needed help. It's not without risk that you get involved. Yeah, but it's more risk to her if you don't help her. But nothing prepared us for the woman we're about to meet. I will teach you to be submissive and to obey and to be a good wife. She decides to literally take matters into her own hands. Do you need to come home to me? Do you want to come home? I have a home. I have a, I have a room for you. Excuse me. What, what's going on? We're fine, ma'am. Thank you. She doesn't look fine. We're fine. We're family. She's completely outnumbered, but it's clear she's not leaving without Susan. I'll sit take down. Care of her. Susan, please I'll take sit care down. of her. Get away from her. She is an adult. She can make please. her decision. You How need old to are sit you? down. Fifteen. Fifteen. Susan. Things are about to get physical. I, I will call the police. Get please, let Susan, go of her. Don't bring this upon our family. Let go of please. her. Please. Call the police. She's fifteen years old and a wife. A police needs to be called. Let go of her. I'm, I, she'll Susan, go to Child Prote down. Protective Services is where she needs to go. And now adrenaline takes over. Let go. I'm not hurting her. Let's go. Before anyone else gets in her way, it's time to let Renee Wood in on our experiment. Just take a breath. Take a breath. It turns out Renee is the former director of a domestic violence shelter in Utah. I understand the dynamics of abuse, and I also um, understand that it's a tough uh, circle to break. More than 100 diners witnessed our scenario, but only four people intervened to help that child bride. Three of them were women. The females have the sensitivity and the knowledge about families and family interaction, which makes them sort of an expert. And that feeling of expertise gives confidence in that what you can do to help is real, is right, and you can pull it off. That was just what I wanted to see. For Elisa Wall, it's an unforgettable example of courage and something else. That's love. That's love when you're willing to put yourself out there for someone else and to truly protect them. That's the image that will forever stay with me. 